So what's bugging you? You know, some insect damage. They play peekaboo. You know, you don't, the no see <laughs> And what it is is that those insects feed at night. So you got to grab a flashlight to find them if you, <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> you know, it's when we diagnose uh, problems at, at the garden center, we're all, it basically comes down to all right, is it insect da- damage or is it an environmental condition that's causing the plant to be damaged? And a lot of times we'll have people bring in rhododendron leaves and that they're just like notches cut out of the rhododendron leaf. And they say, right, there's nothing ever on it. There's no, I don't see it. And those are taxus weevil. Taxus weevil feed at night and they'll come and they'll cut the, like almost like little, little, just little grooves out of the sides of the uh, rhododendron leaf. And they feed at night. So you don't see them. Now there's another problem with them. It's that their larva works and eats the roots of your rhododendron so it's you're getting like a double whammy the you've got the kids working in the ground and then you've got the adults working on the leaves you need to to spray those guys and we're going to give you details at the end of the segment snails and slugs will you i mean uh, uh, (laughs) have have you have you ever like lifted up a thing and you didn't Uh, know it was there and you grab a slug between your fingers (laughs) it's like i've done that (laughs) <laughs> right. yeah, it's like, oh, you know, but, it's, but, it's, but that's one sign that you can tell. It's like if you see slug trails and it looks like an oil slick, yeah, like all through. of a sudden came through <laughs> your garden, yeah. that you'll see like these little trails that that look like they're shimmering yeah. in the sunlight. And that's because slugs have been there or snails that night. Um, they certainly love hosta. I mean, hosta, if you've got hosta, favorite. you probably have. Yeah, you probably yeah. have them. <laughs> um, and that, that they like those leafy, soft, even soft fruits. A lot of people seedlings. All of a sudden, that they plants out. My plants are gone. And it's like most of the time it's rabbits, but it sometimes can be slugs. Slugs you can control pretty easily. Uh, diatomaceous earth works really well. It's yeah. kind of nasty. Yeah. Some of the organic <laughs> solutions are the most nasty. Of all of the insecticides. So, like, like for instance, if you're using diatomaceous earth, it's not like, oh, how nice. What it does is it slices out the bottom of the slug as it passes over it, and it's like a thousand cuts into it, and it just kills it. So it basically bleeds it to death. What a way to go. (laughs) Right? (laughs) I mean, it's like if you're crawling on your belly and all of a sudden you're in in the middle of shards of glass. That's it. (laughs) That's it. But it's organic. Mm -hmm. Um, There's other types uh, of different insecticides for slugs. They're pretty easily controlled. Um, It's just one of those things, like anything, you just have to do it. Um, Cut worms. They're caterpillar. Okay? And they feed at night. And that they actually will cut young plants, like actually at the stem. So all of a sudden, again, I don't know what's eating my plants. You know, it could be cutworms. But again, I don't see them. They feed at night. They feed at night. Uh, Earwigs. (laughs) (laughs) Do do you know what an earwig looks like, Leo? Probably like an ear. (laughs) Anybody seen one of like the original movies from uh, from Star Trek? Star Trek movie. Sam, are you a Star Trek fan? Sort of. What are we talking about? The original, like, when it was Captain Kirk and the original Star Wars movies where they put that bug in Chekhov's ear. Oh, yeah. That's what an ear lo- wig looks like. I think they did it next generation, too. It was called, like, Invasion or something like that. Oh, like, really? They did the like, whole ear thing again? Maybe, yeah. Oh. I don't like ear wigs, though. I find them in my house all the time. Yeah, oh, right. Yeah. right. And that they go after moisture. They would like, uh, again, they're feeding. They'll feed at night. Um they, some people think that they're beneficial because they do eat other insects, but they also will feed on plants, including flowers, fruits, and soft uh, foliage. Um, easily controlled, not not a big deal. Um, like our our favorite uh, uh, bufenthrin, which is which is the bug blaster plus uh, from high yield, that works very well. So bug blaster plus very, and all of those um, non edibles do very well uh spinosad is also an organic that you can put on your edibles that works very well um but i'll tell you that the taxis weevils though they like that you're gonna have to use the bifenthrin or a systemic type of insecticide 
uh, using a contact first and then using the, the systemic protocol. And again, you need to kill both the adults, the eggs, and the nymphs. So you need to control three generations. So that means that you're going to have to get out there and, and do a little bit more. Um, tomato hornworms. Those are big things. Look like a little cigar. <laughs> a little green <laughs> cigar that have these like hooks on their heads. They, they're <laughs> like... Uh, uh, <laughs> They are, they terrify people in the garden. Now, most of the time when people see them, they're just resting because they fed on your plant all night long and they're just kind of like laying <laughs> out in the there. sun. Like, Taking it easy. Yeah. It's, they, already ate. <laughs> they are another uh, nighttime. And here's one you don't think, all right, so we talked about bugs. What, what about our actual warm blooded uh, animal friends? Deer, yeah. nighttime. Yeah. Rabbits, nighttime. Yeah. Now, voles, uh-huh. nighttime. So again, and that moles and voles, how do you know the difference between moles and voles? Voles are vegetarian. Right. And moles are meat eaters. So again, if you don't see them, but you see the damage, they're still there. You need to spray your plants. You need to spray with the right control product. And your best place for information is your local garden center.